This looks like a good movie. The giant movie, giant monster genre, um, it, it, it's shaky. I mean, because you think about it, if you've got King Kong, Godzilla, um, you know, one of those big giant, you know, monsters, uh, Cloverfield coming through your city, you're probably going to know. I never understood how these gigantic monsters making all that noise, smashing through the city. And there are people who look out the window and go, oh, and they're in traffic going, oh, no. You didn't hear that like 10 minutes ago when he was like tromping, stomping, crashing through the city? Seems like in reality, you'd have ran a lot earlier. I would have, you know. But I guess that's, that's just regular common sense. And you can't teach that. So this movie looks, looks good. I mean, it... The, the, the giant monster genre has always suffered because, to me personally, um, like a vampire, you can sneak in through the back door. Nobody knows you're asleep. There's no big crashing cars or nothing. You know, a werewolf might catch you walking down the street and jump out of a bush. You know, Freddy Krueger's going to get you in your dreams, man. But a gigantic 100 foot, 30 foot, 80 foot, 2,000 foot monster. It seems like if they're walking right towards you, you would just go that way and they'll just walk past you because none of them are ever going like stomp, 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 trying to stomp people. They're just walking. Almost always, they're just walking in a straight line. So just, you know, get off that street, man. Just go to the next block and you're safe. So it's tough to sell, to me, to sell a good horror giant monster movie. Um, but this one looks good. This one looks good. It looks more modern. And if it's not in today's time, then it's at least more modern because they've got, you know, the choppers. It might even have been like the 70s or the 80s, maybe. But it's definitely more modern than the previous giant King Kong movie. This one is more recent, uh, more up to date. One of my favorite parts is when a helicopter gets taken out by like what looks like a palm tree, something through a tree and knocked the helicopter out of the sky. Now that was interesting. That was interesting. And this movie, of course, is going to have um, Samuel Jackson. I think Hollywood has a, a thing now where every third movie has to star Samuel L. Jackson or at least have a sneak preview of him or something, you know, a sneak peek. Because he's in like everything. You know, he's in all the movies, all the movies, all of them. So he's in this one. And it looks like they've made King Kong larger also, which is kind of cool. And it makes sense because King Kong eventually, if you don't know, they're going to get the monsters together, King Kong and Godzilla, and they're going to duke it out. So there's going to be another Godzilla after the Kong, and then it's going to be King Kong versus Godzilla. Dun, dun, dun. And um, that ought to be good. But King Kong was only like 30, 40 feet tall. I'm saying only like I'm that tall, but he was only like 30, 40 feet tall. Godzilla is like a thousand feet tall. So mismatch, mismatch, it's not going to work. So they had to make Kong bigger and maybe even bigger still, really, because, you know, he looks to be a couple of hundred feet tall. But I don't. I still don't know that that is big enough for Godzilla. He's enormous. He's, he's standing above skyscrapers and smacking them and stuff. King Kong had to climb on top of a building. Remember? So it still looks good. John Goodman's in it, and from his uh, Ten Cloverfield Lane performance, I'm waiting for something incredible because that was a good performance. That was great. You know, he was like a real crazy person 
in that movie. They probably had to water him down, squirt him with the hose after each scene because he was like on the verge of being just complete nuts. Um, so it looks good. It looks good. Have you seen the trailer? If you have, let's talk about it. Right here in the corner. See my face? Press that. Takes you to my page. Subscribe. And let's talk about the trailer. And if you like the video, hit like. Or don't.